Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday evening today and tonight I'm gonna go watch a movie at IMAX Havelock City. So I did see a subscriber requesting in the comments to share my experience with you guys and today is my first day uh, visiting the cinema there and I'm pretty excited. I want to see what it's like. I'll try to share that experience with you guys. But before we get going, let's uh, finish getting ready. For my outfit situation, I'm wearing this enormous sweater top which I got from abroad. Usually when I go for movies, I like to wear something a bit covered up. Otherwise, it's a bit too cold for me in the theater and I start shivering more than enjoying the movie. So if I can, I do try to wear something comfy, baggy and big. Because it's only the movies, I'm not going too heavy on the makeup. I'm just applying some cream, Victoria's Secrets Temptation Fragrance Lotion. This is the cream. I am not sure whether I'm supposed to apply this on my face, but I do that quite often. Just because I like the smell of it. And on my arms. This is a full outfit situation. I have shoes on, some ripped jeans, and uh, this red bold top. That's about it. So I was headed to the theatre to watch Deadpool and Wolverine. If you want to book your tickets, you can do so by heading over to the Book My Show Scope Cinemas Multiplex at Havelock City Mall tab and you can book your tickets there. But I just went over to that website, checked whether there are available seats and then headed over to the theatre and got my tickets for the 740 show. And per ticket, it was 4500 So this is what the interior and ambience here looks like right now you won't see much of a crowd because most people were inside the theaters watching the movie once i got my tickets i then headed off downstairs and ventured around to while away the time until it was time for the movie so i got a hot dog the jumbo hot dogs at roots are definitely amazing also I headed over to the supermarket there and they had a bunch of fruits that i really love from mangosteen rambutan and even donga and i was very tempted to buy also, this time's post notification shout out goes out to Jay Gunathilaka. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos and that you're part of the community. For a shout out, all you gotta do is to subscribe and comment down below. So, the theater at the mall is located on the floor where you can find the whole load of food stops. Right opposite to that, you can find this place. And the theater itself, there is a designated place where you can get yourself some snacks. So right now I'm waiting for the previous movie to end and once it was over people started pouring out and the place got pretty crowded and there was a whole other crowd waiting for the movie to begin and finally uh, when it was time they started taking people in and you can see the crowd that was going to the theatre right in front of me. So this is what the inside of the theatre looks like. So a bit of information is Havelock City Mall is the destination with Sri Lanka's first IMAX cinema. And basically IMAX is known for its technology of being able to provide a superior audio and visual experience. And sure enough, the audio was quite powerful here and even the visual experience was quite immersive because IMAX theatres are known for their screens which often extends from the floor to the ceiling and wall to wall so they have quite large screens and we watched the movie in 3D so this is what the IMAX 3D glasses looked like and finally the movie began the movie itself was quite a good watch there was a lot of humor in it and yeah I enjoyed it and here we have an appearance of the Serena van der Woodsen, and that was iconic I just got back from Baligama yesterday no sorry day before and uh, I did upload that vlog so I hope you guys enjoyed it it was a very fun day trip and today I'm headed off to the Knickknack grand opening they're opening up the new outlet and I'm gonna be heading up there I 
think you guys must have uh, shopped from Nick Nack. There were a bunch of items ranging from home dress stuff, gifts for your friends, family, everything and anything that you might need might possibly be there. Let's go and check it out and let's see how the opening goes. So rather than an opening, it was a reopening of the new Nick Nack outlet and here it was in an extended space. It was back, bigger, better and busier. Let me give you a bit of a rundown. You can find fluffies here, very cute fluff toys and you find games. Then we find uh, creative work. Then as you tour through, you can find homeware stuff from these very adorable cups in different sizes. And I really liked these bottles. You can put either water or juices in it. Then we've got sunglasses, slippers, pouches in different shapes, sizes and colors and a whole array of handbags. Obviously this is only a mini tour of the store but there's more sections to be ventured like this area where there are socks, bells, then gift wrapping boxes and bags as well as wrapping paper in different patterns and to commemorate the opening they had these very cute cupcakes and uh, after my visit to their new store i then headed off to cool planet which is adjacent to it and got myself a snack entity brownie as someone who is very picky with their sweet treats i really love these brownies you should definitely get your hands on one of these and try it out so today i am getting ready to head off to lunch and i'm going to bubble mania I'm going to try out bubble waffles from there I actually have not eaten from Bubble Mania before. I've tried their fries but not pretty much their like main items. So I'm gonna go give it a try. I'm going there with one of my friends. And then after Bubble Mania, I will be heading off to the Havelock City Mall because a new Odell department store opened up inside the Havelock Mall. And it's supposed to be the biggest store inside of the mall with around 200,000 square feet of pure retail. So it's gonna be very interesting to go see that. Outfit wise, I did wear this dress in my previous vlog. I'm re-wearing today because I feel like it vibes with the color theme going on at Bubble Mania. The only thing I'm doing as a change is I'm plopping in this very chunky necklace. I feel like uh, following a gold theme today. These are my earrings of choice for the day and I felt like it matched with the pattern of my necklace. Bubble Mania has locations in Narahampita Kota, Vakiribad Koda and Malambe. And I am at the Narahampita Royal Arcade outlet. So this is what the interior here looks like. There are other couple of food stalls here. So it's sort of a communal dining spot. And this is a bubble waffle station. As you can see, there are savory options, sweet options, beverages, and you can decide which to pick from. So these are the things I got. I got the Black Virgin Mojito with Boba, the Cookie Monster Milkshake with Boba, the Belgium Heavenly Chocolate single portion, as well as American Fried Chicken. Uh, savory option. Uh, it was I felt like a good combo because you had a mix of savory and sweet so we have that to balance each other out starting with the Belgian heavenly chocolate waffle. This is suitable if you are a real sweet tooth fanatic. For me it was a good dessert option rather than a main. Then we have this savory item which was beyond good. It was the American fried chicken bubble waffle and I really liked it. The chicken pieces were delicious. Then we have the cookie monster milkshake, a classic. It tasted exactly what you expected to taste. But it was hard to pick up the boba because the drink is a bit thick. But the boba I felt like suited way better with my next drink, which was uh, black virgin mojito with boba. And uh, if you're getting this, definitely get the boba along with it as I got, because it really takes it up a notch. And this was so refreshing with my savory dish. So yeah, that wraps up my bubble waffle experience. And I really enjoyed that was my I think first proper bubble waffle experience and then afterwards i headed off to the havelock city mall so this is the new ordeal that opened up here and this is pretty big there are three floors and all the three floors are interconnected and you can access each floor within the store itself so you don't have to take an external escalator to access the three floors which makes things convenient and you'll also find things for the full family for ladies men and kids so that's pretty versatile so the, for the full tour you guys can head over to my instagram and check out the reel there but i'll give you a bit of a tour so on the first floor you'll find the odell beauty department the body shop watches brands like fossil sunglasses ladies handbags footwear and you'll find cute flower bouquets 
and then over on the second floor you're heading in to the kids toy section and you get kids clothes for the girls you'll have pink bear for the boys boys and bear and you also get the ladies section and also be iconic which is one of my favorite brands to shop from they have very cute stuff and you also find coco along with backstage and at backstage you'll find jewelry from silver rose gold and gold and you've also got the funkier pieces of jewelry over on this end and beaded up necklaces too you can find and then there's a whole collection of scrunchies and this very adorable vanity mirror then on the third floor you have the Odell home section so there are home pieces here which are pretty nice has home wear as you guys saw and mostly the third floor is the men's section so let me show you guys we have some florals and then we have more home wear items deco stuff these are very cute I personally love something like this maybe we have bedding over on this end and also we've got a gift wrapping section so if you're getting items for your loved ones and you need them wrapped we have cards here and then you have gift wrapping which is in different patterns so that will be helpful and we also have boxes and these are men's clothes We have shirts, t-shirts, the whole bunch of stuff, ties, those are quite nice. That's me again. And then we have more of the professional shoes, the international brands here. So we have Polo, Levi's. So yeah guys, that wraps up my little tour of the new Odell outlet at the Havelock City Mall. If you guys want to see a more detailed one, you can head over to my Instagram. The link is down in the description box and it goes as Kaviti Dinatma. Then afterwards, I headed off to Mr. Fries and they have a really good tandoori fries here which I get cravings for all the time. And with that, I wrapped up the night.